Hello, Vardaran here, and this is a yet another Bonnacle 2015 update. Quick one this time, I'm gonna go over the mask because a lot of people were requesting a better look at both the mask, the heads, and the skull spiders themselves. So I figured I'd wrangle them all up and get them here out on display. So, I really wish I had the original Mata mask with me, but unfortunately, since I'm out of town at New York right now, I do not currently have access to them. So, kind of a shame, I wish I could compare them, but alas. What we do have, though, is all the masks that we are going to be getting for the Toa, as well as the golden versions. Now, a lot of people wanted to see what the Comic-Con exclusive Clear How looked like on Tahu himself. So, just pop this on here. This is what it looks like with just the head. Here is what it looks like on Tahu himself. So, it's really, really neat, really cool. Nice crystal looking mask here. The eyes look really, really awesome, actually. I, don't, I actually kind of like this. It's actually the first time I've seen it myself, so interesting. All right. Next up, the skull spiders themselves. Now, I do have the two versions of the skull spiders that were available at the VIP panel. There was also another version that is silver, which I will show in a second. But here we have a dark metru blue uh, skull spider and the, I think, lime green. It's not glow in the dark like someone asked, unfortunately, but I would say it's lime green. Um, I'll stick this on Tahu himself. Now, one of the things I noticed about the skull spiders, a lot of people are saying they're face huggers and they wanted a picture of the skull spiders on Tahu himself. Issue I had while testing this is that the skull spider's legs are a bit too long to actually wrap around Tahu's head while on his body. So I can connect the mask to the head fairly easily, but actually fitting it onto Tahu himself proved to be rather challenging. So let me see if I can get it here. Yep, it's it's actually uh, not very easy to do without snapping the legs off, as you can see. Uh, the chest armor gets in the way. His neck is positioned too, too low for it. Um, I'll use the green one so you can see a bit better. Now, if we were going to do it with the legs on the chest, this is what it could look like. Here's one alternative to the issue with the legs and the chest armor getting in the way. Now, personally, I honestly think it's probably better to just to take the legs off and keep the skull spider head on its own by itself because the legs kind of get in the way. I don't really think they look too great wrapped around the head personally, but... And here we have Tahu wearing the skull spider mask. Man, is this thing menacing looking. Look at this! Wow. Very cool. Reminds me of something from Mortal Kombat. I don't really know why, but the first thing I thought. So yes, really cool. And here is another quick pose of Tahu wearing the uh, Skull Spider mask. So yep, very, very cool. Now, one other thing I wanted to show really quickly was after playing around with the heads and the mask themselves, I noticed that the mask actually stay on better without the eyepiece. Um, probably because gravity is usually activating the lever system that is uh, in the heads. So, most likely why, but I find that the masks do not slip off nearly as much without the, uh, without the brain stocks. So, interesting to note. Now, I, I've heard that these are still <clears throat> concepts, and that the uh, final sets will include a uh, tighter mask, so they will not slip off as easily as they did in my version. So that is great to hear, because really that was only my actual complaint, and even at that I was really trying to look for something to complain about, because I really love this set. So, yeah... Now here's what the heads look like with 
out the eyepiece. So very cool. And I'll do some quick close-ups of all the mask. Now, a lot of other people were asking about how many parts we actually got and if we got any other sets. The short answer is no, we were not able to get any other sets. However, we did get several pieces to the other sets. Um, for example, Meso was able to get the majority of Anua. Now, we, weren't, we didn't have enough to make Anua. However, he kind of went crazy a bit and made a full-blown Anua mock villain revamp thing. So here you can kind of see how many of the Anua parts we did end up getting. And like I said, we were very close to having enough to finish him, but we don't. So right now this is just a mock. This isn't the actual set itself. Um, sorry about the lighting. I'm really limited by the hotel here. So not much to, I can really do about this. But yeah, this is about as much of Anua as we got. We also got a good bit of Gali, which I will add a picture of in the video right now. And aside from that, the last thing I wish to address is the clear Comic-Con mask. Because one person was wondering about the condition of the packaging and what that was like and that I shouldn't have opened it. Luckily, as far as the packaging is concerned, LEGO has made it uh, non-sealable. So, so here, it just kind of pops open. So it's easy to access the... Uh, the mask without actually damaging the packaging. So that's really nice. Obviously I'm not going to open the other one, but just for this purpose, don't have to damage that. So that's really nice. And um, yeah, so this was the one that was at the VIP Bionicle event. So I do so believe only 500 of these were made, but I could be wrong. So somewhere, yep. Oh, seven, oh, 500 I said but it was actually 100. Okay. Well, 71 out of 100. So, awesome. But yep, that's about it. Thank you for watching.